Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here and today I have another unboxing for you guys. This time it's a Grand Seiko and this is, uh, let's get right down to it, this is the usual blue box of happiness as uh, uh, one of my friends, the Daily Beater, mentioned a while ago. Um, very similar to every Grand Seiko, pretty much every Grand Seiko that you have uh, unboxed. Uh, an interesting thing is if you do buy a mechanical Grand Seiko, that's one hint as to what this is, uh, you get a certificate of um, excellence, ensuring that uh, the movement is working up to spec. I don't want to open that up because it will have my uh, serial number and such. Not that I care too much about it, but if I can avoid uh, serial number being shown, I uh, I try to. So let's open it up. I have not seen a, a Grand Seiko come with a cleaning cloth before, but a bit of a, a chamois here. Usual uh, paper towel kind of thing there. And here it is. And this is the SBGW231. Very popular Grand Seiko as of the re this recording. Very nice size as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some dimensions on this guy. This is 37 millimeters in diameter. Lug to lug is 43 and a half, 44. Thickness is 12, 12 millimeters thick. And the lug width is 19, 19 millimeter lug width. So very nice dimensions. Uh, let's go ahead and try it on the wrist. So a wristwatch check. I'm wearing uh, my SBG Y003 on a Milanese mesh bracelet. I find this uh, combination is really nice because uh, this watch seems to have like a cushion case sporty vibe to it even though it's a dress watch and so every once in a while I'll throw it on the uh, the mesh and enjoy it in that way. Let's put that off to the corner. Here we go. So no deployment on this SBJW231, which is interesting. Most uh, Grand Seikos, all Grand Seikos that come with the strap that I've uh, experienced have come with a deployment. No matter. There it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist. Very nice. So this is part of the Elegance collection. So the case is uh, pretty much all, well, it is all of high polish. Zeratsu polishing. Really nice thickness. Beautifully boxed sapphire, boxed and domed. Looks like it'll be a very nice piece. On the inside, we have the 9S65, 9S64, that's the manual wind um, version of uh, the regular Beat 28.8 automatic movement. So this is the manual wind version. The 9S65 is the automatic. Nicely decorated. I feel like they, I always think the, uh, I think that's the barrel. I feel like they could do a bit better with that. Anyway, beautifully uh, striped and finished. The finishing is really nice for the price. I really like uh, how the dial appears to be domed. Let me think of uh, an egg, eggshell. 
beautiful applied logo as well. As you can tell, the second sand has been bent to be able to be accommodated. Very, very nice. Beautiful watch. Well guys, uh, stay tuned for a review on this piece. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye.